Hi there, Crochet CJ Carla here. I was tagged by Brenda at My Pug of a Life to do the Christmas traditions um, questions. I'm really starting to get a complex about doing this video. The first one I got really emotional and I kind of talked too much and so I deleted it because it was too long. The second one I got interrupted and I tried to put the video clips together and I couldn't so I really need like YouTube for dummies to figure that one out because I don't know what I did wrong. This one I started and I got in a couple of questions and all of a sudden it popped up on the screen and said I don't have enough storage and I needed to get delete some stuff to get storage. I've deleted tons of stuff off my iPad. I don't know why it's doing that to me. I think Apple wants me to buy storage and I'm not doing it. <laughs> anyway, when do you start decorating for Christmas? Usually the day after Thanksgiving. Uh, this year between work and people here for the holidays and stuff, it was Sunday after Thanksgiving when I got the tree up and stuff, but that's okay. And then usually leave it up till at least New Year's. What style do you decorate in? I don't really have a style, I don't guess. We've always bought special ornaments for the kids and we have ornaments that have been given to us or that kids have made and we put those all over the tree so the tree is really eclectic. My last job I did buy a tree and all these color coordinated decorations just so I could have one that was just really really fancy um, but the one at home is just kind of everything and that's okay. I've got some nativity sets that I put out and I've got some Christmas um, quilts that I've made that I put out so that's good favorite Christmas tradition with family probably looking at lights I think that's pretty common throughout when I was young I grew up in a town called Grove Oklahoma it's a small town but out State Park Road they had this little resort and every year at Christmas it became Christmas Lane and the people who had cabins and trailers there decorated it all up with lights and little scenes and stuff and it was really cool and my children actually got to enjoy that for a few years when they were small um, because we only lived about 30 miles away from my hometown when they were little um, but Christmas Lane doesn't exist anymore it's kind of sad <laughs> end of an era um, but close by where I live now is Tulsa and uh, in Broken Arrow actually is Rainbow Bible College and they do um, decorate the whole campus with lights and stuff and it's really really pretty so if you're ever out this way during Christmas definitely go see it. Um, favorite place to buy Christmas decor? Walmart. I worked for them for 10 years before I became a nurse and so I have a lot of Walmart stuff. Um, I like Joann's, I like Hobby Lobby. There's a place in Branson, Missouri called Silver Dollar City, which is an amusement park, but they also have, it's kind of an old timey place and they have shops and things and they have some shops that just have Christmas decorations. Um, but it's really cool there. They do a lot of lights and, and scenes and stuff for Christmas. So if you ever get a chance to go there at Christmas time, you'd really enjoy it. Uh, favorite Christmas movie? Don't judge. <laughs> we like Christmas Vacation. I know some people think it's a tacky movie, but it's really funny and we always have a lot of fun watching it every year when we're together. If we're together at Christmas, we watch that movie. I like It's a Wonderful Life and Miracle on 34th Street. My favorite Christmas Carol movie is the musical version with Albert Finney. And I'm a Hallmark movie watcher, so I like Hallmark Christmas movies too. I record a lot of those and watch them. Uh, eggnog, hot cocoa, or apple cider. I actually like all three. Um, I would pick eggnog just because you can only, you know, you don't really have it any other time of the year. And we have a really cool little store, uh, restaurant here that's called Brahms. And they kind of specialize in hamburgers and ice cream. And they have eggnog ice cream at this time of year. And so sometimes I get an eggnog shake. They also have a really great peppermint ice cream this time of year too. Um, do you leave cookies out for Santa? We didn't when the kids were little because we lived in the country and, and no matter how many holes you plug up, the mice get in and the mice eat everything. So Santa, when he came to our house, his his treat was a candy cane off of the tree because that's the only thing we left out that was edible. Because <laughs> the mice didn't bother those, I guess, because they were wrapped. Real or artificial tree? We've had real trees when I was growing up, but mainly artificial trees. Um, and right now I have an artificial tree and it's pre-lit and it's great. I really like that. When I was little, um, I'm actually the youngest of eight kids and my parents were 
quite older than normal parents when I was born. Um, so we had a silver aluminum tree with an electric light color wheel. So the color wheel, you'd plug it in and it had like four different colors and it would rotate. And as it did, it would project those colors on that silver aluminum tree. Look it up on Google if you don't know what I'm talking about, but there are people out there who know what I'm talking about. Um, favorite holiday dessert, favorite holiday cookie. I'm going to combine those because pfeffer nuts. Okay. It's a German cookie. They're just these little, I made these today because I really wanted some. And I made this video yesterday already. And I was talking about these pfeffer nuts and I wanted some. They have all sorts of little spices in them, um, like nutmeg and cinnamon and clove, but they also have cardamom and they smell wonderful. And I mean, you, if you don't like a spice cookie, you're not going to like them, but I think they're great. And it's good. My husband doesn't like them, so I usually get to eat them all. <laughs> so they last me until Christmas. Do you open gifts on Christmas Eve? Um, traditionally, we let the kids open one on Christmas Eve and the rest on Christmas Day. Of course, now when we get together, it's usually one or the other. And so we just open them whenever any, everybody's here. Um, so I worked in healthcare, you know, I've almost 30 years. And been a nurse, been a midwife, and so sometimes you just work on the holiday because it's a 24-7 world. And, you know, when I first became a nurse, it was just kind of like this epiphany. We don't have to celebrate Christmas on December 25th. We can celebrate Christmas whenever we want. And so we would do that usually the first day I had off of the kids' Christmas break, and they loved it. They got to play with their toys longer. They weren't having to wait until Christmas to open their stuff, and so they enjoyed that. Um, but, you know, it's just it, the important thing is being with your family and stuff. It doesn't matter what the date is. And I, I get so, I just, I don't understand why people get so fussed about it and, you know, so upset when they have to work. Somebody's got to work on the holiday. You know, in fact, I would rather work on the holiday and let other people be with their family that that may be the only time they can get together, you know. But for us, it was just easier to, to have it whenever. Um, I try to be zen about these things. <laughs> Do you decorate the Christmas tree yourself? Yes. Um, when the kids were home, I would put the tree up and they'd help me put the decorations on. Now that it's just my husband and I, I mean, he's not anti-Christmas or anything. He helps me bring everything in from storage and then he goes and sits in his chair and I decorate. I put up the tree and decorate and put up my nativity scenes and stuff. And that's okay. I'm the one that loves Christmas and loves decorating. I'm sure if he had it his way, there would not be a decoration one in the house just because he doesn't care one way or the other. Um, I tease him about being Scrooge. He's not. He's He likes Christmas too. Um, where do you spend Christmas Day? At home. Uh, so, you know, we used to live next door to our in-laws and we'd visit with them some or they'd come to our house and... We were about 30 miles away from my hometown, and so we'd go there sometimes if it's a little bit, we're a little bit further away now, and the family's kind of spread out, so usually we're just here at the house, and the kids come to us um, at Christmas if they can, you know, sometimes they have to go to the other in-laws, the other grandparents or whatever, so it's just, um, it's just us at home on Christmas Day, which is good, we like it, unless I'm working, and sometimes I am. Um, favorite Christmas smell? Uh, this is a tough one because I like so many things, peppermint and cinnamon and things like that. But I actually would say that wood smoke, like when people have their fireplaces going, I like that smell. It's just so wintry and Christmassy to me. Uh, favorite thing to craft or make during the holidays? Uh, I make fudge and I make peanut brittle and cookies and all sorts of candies and cookies and stuff. I like to bake at the holidays. Um, and this is actually, I didn't start crocheting until February of this year. So this is my first Christmas that I've actually made anything crochet for Christmas. Like I said, I've made some crochet, I mean, some quilts that are Christmassy things. Um, but I made a Christmas tree skirt from Creative Grandma's pattern. And I made a one of the red heart patterns. I made a uh, ripple throw. I think I showed that on one of my earlier videos too. And then I made these pretty 
scarves with this red heart metallic. I made this one and a bright pink one and a black one. I gave the pink and the black one away and then I kept the red one for me for the holidays so I'd have something to wear when I made my Christmas video, right? <laughs> anyway, I guess that's about it. God bless you all with a merry, merry Christmas and just remember Jesus is the reason for the season. And Happy birthday, Jesus. You guys take care. Bye-bye.